So that last comment right there. So hopefully franchise will be better. Well, let me tell you something. It will be. Because as it turns out, as it turns out, what we had witnessed was only the warm-up. You don't make a huge investment in a new team without running a few simulations. Analyze the risk factor and know, okay, these are the mistakes that we look to avoid. So because of that, it's not dead. It's not dead. And we're not giving up. We might have to start over, technically. But the boys are going nowhere. We are not, cannot, and will not give up. Because the Tokyo Mighty Ducks will rise and GM contracts will be turned off. That said, that said, you have to, you have to, you know, you have to wonder, right? You have to wonder because the question's obviously raised. Well, okay, is that it? You know, you have, you have the idea where, you know, you have the idea where, did I accidentally take over the Astros instead of the, uh, I might have, people are saying you took over the Astros. You have the existing idea of, okay, mistake was made with GM contract. Was that it? I think I definitely, yeah, I accidentally went to the Astros instead of the Athletics. My bad. Thank you for catching that. That was almost another mistake. Is that the only thing that's changing? Just, hey, make sure you can't get fired this time, GG's. Nah. Nah, because as we discovered, we probably want to play it a little bit safe. Play it a little bit safe. And what's the best way to play it a little bit safe? Further investment. It's not enough to just move this team to Japan. It's not enough to say we're only going to have Japanese players. It's not enough to just target Shohei Otani in the first year offseason. We need further investments. We need a safety blanket. Some security. And that's where these guys come in. Not only are we moving the Oakland Athletics to Tokyo, but we are also going to be taking some of the best players in baseball today that are already in Japan, and we're adding them to this team. We have added maybe the best power hitter in the world in Munitaka Murakami. God, I hope he comes to the majors someday. We have added... A fireballer and Roki Sasaki at just 21 years old. We have added another young starting pitcher and Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Young Hu Lee is here as well. Again, we're not going to give up. We can't be fired this time. And we are further prepared with more investment. Popcorn chicken, I hate you for even typing that, but thank you. For the 44 months. And that is why we're not giving up. Last run, it was a cursed practice run. This. Now this is legit. This is the run. This is the run. This is the way. Uh, so really quickly, I'm looking over the team. Yet again, I'm not going to do too much to the team that's already there. Um... I don't know why that many first basemen are in the majors. Jeez, well, it's spring training. That's why. Uh, we are pretty much going to let the AI handle this. Uh, at least through spring training. We do need to make some adjustments with the 40-man roster. We do want Murakami on said 40-man roster. We also want Lee in left. 
on the 40 man. We could take JJ Blide off of the 40 man. Let's add Lee to the list. There's uh, Yosuke Masago as well, who is only a 68 overall. But, well, beggars can't be choosers. We still need him. We still need him. So he'll be here as well. And uh, Kensuke Kondo, who has a terrible rating. <laughs> An absolutely terrible rating. He's already on the 40 man. We'll have him there. And then, yeah, uh, Roki Sasaki is here as well. You know, this doesn't guarantee that it's going to go any better. <laughs> I wish it would. But in the meantime, if we have to restart, why not just, you know, why not just slightly increase our chances of success? That's all. Slightly. Just slightly. You know? Slightly. There we go. So those are the starting options for seasons instead of three. You watch. We won't end up with Otani this time, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Do we have anybody on the top prospects list? This time, do we? Yeah, we do. Suck it. Now we got someone on the top prospects list. Uh, and Sasaki and Yamamoto, Tyler Soderstrom, but not for long. Look at that sweet top prospects representation. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right. Uh, who can I bring in? Let's go for Craig Klein. Anybody else that we want here? Honestly, Carmine Mai is, is not that great. Can I sub you out? Perfect. $600 left in a scouting budget. Beautiful. All right. So we do have to upgrade ye old roster a little bit. A little bit to get our boys onto the team. Uh, Matt, that is exactly what we did. <laughs> That is exactly what we did. Honestly, I think I gotta wait for those guys to clear waivers. I think. I think, I think. Oh boy, I hate that. You skip ahead time-wise, but it still doesn't fully count. So let's sim, auto fix rotation, auto for injuries, bah bah bah, scouting assignments, neat. All right. Now, good. People are through waivers. Let us fully set up this roster. Let us go. Let us go. It's a beautiful thing. I did turn off GM firing this time, yes. <laughs> All right, let's see. Two, three, four, five. I don't know if we want six or not. Oh, two, three, four, five, and six. And double A is one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Got to be a little bit more hands on with the roster this time because of the changes that we've made, but that's okay. That is okay. Murakami. On to the roster. Lee. On to the roster. Uh, Masago. On to the roster. Kensuke Kondo. Already on the roster. Which is beautiful. Alright, Rudy, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Alright, let's uh, send down Brent Rooker. I don't know who else to send down because I really don't care about this roster. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. There we go. It's at 26. That's fine by me. Uh, over to user settings, mode specific, lineup rotation, and injury management on automatic. Nothing else needs to be of concern except our sweet, beautiful scouting. And this is the year. This is the time that we will have actual luck. I'm calling it. 
damn it. <laughs> this will work. I refuse to let the meme die. The meme will not just be a dream. The meme will be a reality. I promise. We will get this to work. <laughs> or fail miserably trying. Absolutely miserably. <laughs> One way or another. I don't need a trade off or the Braves can... The Braves can leave me alone. Oh my god, we're actually winning games, though. That's the one downside, is the team could actually end up being slightly okay this time. The team could be slightly okay. I am definitely going to have to make the roster worse. Definitely. Oh yeah, we're winning way too many games. Way too many. Alright, we found a couple of infielders. Let's scout for outfielders. And before we move ahead, really quickly, the roster. The roster, the roster. I think we got to get Blackburn out of here. You're far too good. <laughs> I guess we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Two, three, four, five. Only have five relievers. It's a lot of position players, damn. All right, and now that that's been on automatic for a little bit, the rotation. I Give me a four-man rotation. Is Otani still on the team? I did not move Otani over to start with. I still felt we should leave it up to chance that we don't end up with him. Was how I elected to go about this. So we are going to have to reacquire him. I don't know if we'll pull that off. But we'll see. Okay, we already... No, okay, so now we gotta look at outfielders. Fourth week. Fourth week, fourth week. There we go, we're losing a few more games. Alright, there we go, we got the outfielders. So, first look... At the list for this year, let's start off telling you this is the run. This is the run. Philip Ono. Last time was just a test run. It was a test run. That's a Boone Wood great name. Last time out was a test run, a simulation. And we were allowed to look at our mistakes and be like, all right, let's make those adjustments so that they don't happen again. Okay, we don't have anybody else aside from that one, uh, that one pitcher, but, uh, what a promising pitcher he is, so it's not that bad. Nelson, who had a Chinese Taipei? Kosuke Sasaki, let's look at you. And William Cho, Chinese Taipei. Nelson, who test run roughly 24 hours after it was the run? No, you see, because through the timeline, I don't acknowledge daylight savings. So technically, if you count up the hours since daylight savings and the transfer over, last night me saying was the run technically meant tonight. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. That's just that's just the truth. Uh, do we have any relievers? Any relievers, any relievers. Some time cube ass logic here. Hey, I don't make the rules, okay? I don't make the rules. We just abide by them. I'm on the West Coast. It's not today. See, there you go. You're on the West Coast. It's not today. There's a guy named Lee Bong. I can't even draft him. We're two minutes away from seeing a guy named Bing Bong, I'm sure, at this rate. Because the name pool for South Koreans is so damn small in this game. All right. Uh, hello, Donald Nakamura. All right. Let's start off by looking at these pitchers. Never forget Choo Choo is right. Never forget. All right. Back to scouting, and it looks like Philip Ono 
is legit, while the other two, I don't know if they'll be draft eligible this year. They might disappear like those other guys, unfortunately. It's a shame that we kind of discover, like, oh, yeah, people just disappear for no fucking reason. Even if you scout them, it's like, well, they go back in the next year's draft, stuff like that. I don't believe there was anybody that I missed. Because I didn't see any of you guys mention someone that I missed. So, I think we're okay. Daniel, I don't even remember. The day is all run together. <laughs> uh, closers. So, at the Sal Ham. Great name. All right, no closers. What about catchers? What about Steve Doe? Um, what about catchers? Not looking good. First base, Johnny Pesky. Uh, Alan Yokoyama. We'll look at Alan. Do we have anybody else? Shout out to Tom Rock. There are some phenomenal names so far. Second base. Second base. Uh, oh, Ty Rex. T Rex. Damn. If this does fail, I got to be honest, we might just have to do like the, the best draft, the best names. It name to glory. Yeah. That'll be next up. Ah, oh, it's a shame that Michael Saito is uh not who we're looking for. Damn. Alright, shortstop. Matt Maeda. Hello. Okay, not projected to be drafted, but our scouts really like him. This could be interesting. We need starting first and shortstop. Already this draft is looking better. Already, already. We're a 500 club right now, too. What draft pick do we have again? Given that Philip Ono was apparently the second best prospect in the draft. And Matt Maeda might be the 15th best player. Oh my god. We have the sixth? Fuck. Well, um... This is already shaping up to be a potentially heartbreaking draft. Yeah, number six and number 38. This is already shaping up to be as heartbreaking of a draft as last night's final draft was. <laughs> what do we have in the left? Benedict Ragsdale. Some of these names, man. Some of these names. Whew. Well, we have more than three players. We might. We might, we might. David Min, South Korean. Center field. David Chin. Taiwan. We definitely have options. It's just how many of them will be in the draft is the question. There's still... Not an insane amount. Douglas Fujita. I did see Douglas Fujita. Come back, Mr. Fujita. Uh, first shortstop in right field. Works for me. How do I view my draft class after the draft? Sim a couple of days after the draft. All you gotta do is just sim a few days. It'll unlock. All right, let's see. Alan Yokoyama should be in the draft, too. And Matt Maeda, apparently, is the gem of all gems. This is this is shaping up to be very interesting. Davis, you handsome devil. How are you? This is shaping up to be an immediately interesting draft. Especially if we could land Philip Ono. Especially, especially. Let's do a little bit more in the form of discovery. But yeah, we are winning 
We are winning significantly more games because of these additions. I was very tempted to leave these guys in the minors for a year, but hey, that is the trade-off. Uh, there's no way Fujita is going to be in the draft. Apparently, we discovered some new pitchers. Are any of them players that we can pick up? No. No, they are not. Let's look for catchers. And honestly, let's just keep building up interest on Philip Ono. Even if it's only at 1%, just keep building up interest on the guy. Because we need the draft to go our way and we need to sign him immediately. No new catchers discovered. What about infielders? Oh my god, Philip Ono's insane. He's insane. 500 club. No infielders either. Outfielders? Please? Please, God, give me some outfielders. Please, please, please. Oh, we are winning way too many games still. <laughs> no outfielders either. All right, right back to pitchers. Still got a couple weeks left to try and find some people. There we go. Good week in terms of losses. More pitchers discovered. Okay, it loves discovering pitchers. Recently scouted. No one, no one that fits the bill, though. Keep looking for pitchers, damn it. Keep looking. Keep looking, keep looking. All right. Our final bit of scouting before our new first draft. One more pitcher discovered. It's a Bayaderis. So now we will go in for the top guys that we've looked at on this final week. Um, not sure how far down the list I have to go until I find someone else. It's Matt Maeda that our scouts really like. And who else? Is there anybody else that was up here? I don't know if we'll be able to get Maeda with that 38th pick. But man, if we can lock down these two, Ned Madrano. Apparently we scouted him out at some point. You can see how bad the quality dips after those first two. It takes a while to find somebody else. It's Yokoyama. Starting short and first. Those are the top three targets in what is our new first draft. With the team. The 2023 drafts. Oh my god, they think Philip Ono is the best player in the draft. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god, please let this work for me. So Ono, Maeda, Yokoyama. It's again only three players. The rest of them went back into the draft or just said, ah, screw it, not this year. Three players possible. How many weeks do you scout discover player before you start scouting individual prospects? Four. Since I'm only limiting myself to international. And there's four positions to scout. So again, same issue. There's only three people. But what if Philip Ono drops? We have the sixth pick. If we could get Ono sixth overall and then Maeda with the 38th. This could be insane. Please. Please. On one hand, I feel foolish for trying this again. On the other, I, I, I just can't. I can't give up. I can't give up. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Do not be Philip Ono. That's definitely not Philip Ono. One down. As they go for third baseman P.J. LeBlanc. The 23-year-old. Interesting pick for Pittsburgh. Pick number two. 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 Third baseman DeAndre Singh. Woo! 
When I did the Red Sox run, I didn't worry about discovery because I didn't have time. It uh, doesn't often work out. Come on, pick number three. We're almost. We're halfway there. We're more than halfway there. When this goes through, don't be. Don't be Filipino. Don't be. Don't be. It's not. There's too many letters. Sixth ranked starting pitcher Brandon Ortiz. We have made it to the first three. All three, though, were projected to go high and did. We need the last two teams to start taking other people. Please, God, one away. We're one away. Jesus. Jesus. Japanese Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Jesus. This is the run. I told you. Last night was a test run. Last night was a test run. I told you. You just needed to believe, chat. Now this is the run. Because we are getting Philip Ono with the sixth overall pick. Come on. This is going to work, damn it. This is going to work. I fucking told you. <sighs> Philip Ono, come on down with the sixth overall pick, baby. With the sixth overall pick, <laughs> Philip Ono. <sighs> come on. Now, Matt Maeda. Was not projected to be drafted. Our scouts think he is the 13th best pitcher, or prospect, I should say. Even if he was the 13th best pitcher, I'd take him. We need Matt Maeda to be there at pick 38, and then Yokoyama we can get whenever. Nobody take Maeda. We got Cincinnati taking center fielder Ron Lange. Lange, Lange, Lange. Uh, Carlos Samuel, starting pitcher, projected fifth. He goes eighth. Beautiful, beautiful. But Squirrel, what if he? What if he does hit though? What if he does? What if we make him play catcher at the same time or DH? Uh, number nine was the number one projected prospect. Charles Fishman goes to Colorado, so maybe the Rockies did a good. Josh De Los Santos, who was projected ninth, goes tenth to the Marlins. Yeah, the AI have not been reaching in this draft, really. We've seen players projected in the 60s go first overall. There's one, Lon Lowry. Hell of a name. He was projected 39th. Brian Martin. That's why I was worried about being able to get Ono. That's why I was worried. You got Vaccaro at 15. We're getting there. Again, our next pick is 38. We're almost halfway there. Our next target is a prospect who was not expected to be drafted, but our scouts think is top 15 worthy. Giants take 51st projected starting pitcher, Lonnie Cook. Baltimore takes Tom Don, 23rd rated prospect, the starting pitcher. Come on, we're almost at the halfway point. Almost, almost. Doug Thurston went right around his projection. The center fielder goes to Milwaukee. Tampa. Starting pitcher Carlo De Jesus and his beautiful mutton shops. Come on. But the fact that we had to restart because I accidentally got fired <laughs> didn't help. It opened a window of opportunity, though. And now this draft could be insane for us. And then the question will be, well, shit, what if you didn't have the good guys? Could you have done it without them? And I'm fine with that being a question. Damn it. <sighs> Lucius Hook. Come on. Okay, we're over the halfway point. We've been over the halfway point accidentally. I did not intentionally leave that fucking setting on to get fired. I was heartbroken last night. That's why we took it out on the competition and rode to the show. Those that stuck around, we put on a show. Gary Case. Okay. The good news is, I don't think I've ever seen anyone who is projected or is, you know, projected to not be drafted actually go in the first round. Holy shiz, what a reach. Steve Doe. 131. He goes 25th. There's Casto. We might we might pull this off. We might pull this off. Come on, we still got a ways to go. Boonwood. 
You needed to be fired the way it was going, though it was going okay! How dare you? How dare you? My god, please. Again, Matt Maeda is the name that we're focused on. The Mets. Take Dave Beal. We're almost there. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. I could skip ahead, but drama. Brian Broadway goes to the Dodgers. Here we go. The final countdown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Gonna get sued. Gonna get sued. Come on. We're so close. We're so freaking close. Yes. Come on. Brian Broadway is uh, Brian Broadway was an NWA jobber. Work in the territories, brother. Come on, four picks away. Four picks away. Three picks away. Miami, Detroit, Cincinnati. Neither none of you. None of you ruin this for me. Please. Please, God, I need this. Yes, two away. I need this. My God, I need this. A lot of the relievers are starting to go. Paquette was a right fielder. One away. One away. Cincinnati, do not ruin this for me. You and your miserable city. Yes. <laughs> so. That's why I said last night was a test run. Never would have guessed the draft would go this well. But sixth overall, Philip Ono who our scouts think is the best prospect in the draft. And at 38, Matt Maeda, which if he is actually good, represents really the first player this year that I would have witnessed to be projected not to be drafted, only to be projected 13th and be worth it. Matt Maeda is the pick. Have we just had the best possible start we could have asked for? We'll have one more pick. That'll be the Alan Yokoyama pick, and then we are out of the draft because there are no other prospects left for us to take. But Alan Yokoyama's the guy. The downside for him, his overall is probably going to suck at 20 years old, but he's got time to develop on this team. Yokoyama's the guy. Have we had an incredible draft? I'm excited to find out. Same as last time. We'll just take the worst possible dudes. Uh, so Fernando Mateo. And again, we won't be signing these guys. But we uh, we have to draft somebody. You can't forego these picks. Carlos Robles will also be brought in. Round number five. Tad Kern, son of Steve. And in round number six, Doyle Patton. Doyle rules. All right. I think. I think this might have gone well. I think. I think, I think. Home run derby, by the way, is in Stanton. It's Judge. Blah, blah, blah. Who, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Although, actually, All-Star all Game, I do care about because I want to know who made it for us. I want to know who made it for us. No pitchers. Or Sotani's not ours yet. Murakami in his first year in the majors. He already has 19 home runs. Beautiful. So Murakami was a representative. Ryan Minister. That's a name we haven't seen in a while. It has been a bit. I am doing fantastic. How are you? Okay, here we go. We got to sign these guys. You joined me at an intense time. Filipono. Who our scouts think is simply the best. We'll pay you what you're worth. Philip Ono's here. God, let him actually be the best. Can you imagine if we just landed a generational pitcher to start this off? Matt Maeda, can we imagine if you're actually as good as they think you are? Matt Maeda has signed. And it brings up Alan Yokoyama. And I'm still excited about him, too. Although he declined with 86% interest after that contract offer. So we got to wait another day. Another couple days, another couple days. Don't want trades, don't want all-star, nothing, nothing. 
Mr. Yokoyama, I'm just going to give you all the remaining money. Thank you very much. Okay, our three dudes have been signed. How good are they? We have that little bit of extra insurance. Jesus, what a trade for the Red Sox, though. Tamar Johnson, old Travis Swaggerty. Come on. Again, we are set up as well as we possibly can be. Warrior, I did see it. You're correct. I forgot to respond to it. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go, Chad. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are we ready for this? Are we ready? Are we ready for this? This is the time. This is the place. How good is our new boy? Okay. I'm not complaining. He is only a 63 overall, but 19A starting potential for the starting pitcher, Philip Ono. This is the run. This is the run. Chat. This is the run. Whew. He's got time to develop the walks per nine. He's fine. This is the run. How good is Maeda? Honestly, that's not bad. That's not bad. He was projected to be undrafted. 18B, 60 overall. I mean, he's fielding first. He's got decent speed. Matt Maeda. And then Alan, yes, this is the run. It's the run, chat. It's the run. We're doing it this time. We're doing it. This is the run. I'm telling you. This is the run. This idea is not dead. It just, we needed to stop the test run. The Andrew Martin run. Start over from uh, uh, point one. You know, it's okay. Now we're actually starting. We weren't ready. Now we are. <sighs>